Hello YouTube, I'm back after a bit of a break. Uh, just a bit of a collection update really, just to show you what I've been buying, uh, what new games I've got and whatever else. I've got a few games on order still from Japan, but I'm waiting for them to arrive so they'll have to go and another video. Anyway, first up, I've got the power release of Samurai Showdown. Uh, doesn't come with instructions, I bought this on eBay, I think I paid about £7 for it, including postage. Uh, really good fighting game. Um, got to play it some more, but had a good laugh playing it too, player with a friend. Second up, the American version of Airbusters. Uh, really nice condition this game. Great game as well. Comes with the instructions and everything else. Fantastic condition. Uh, yeah, I really like this game. I've played about the first three or four levels. I wish I'd have got the free Kaneko video glove. Uh, offer. I don't know if you can see that, but obviously a fantastic piece of kit to play a game with. Right, next up, this was a brand new sealed game, bought it on eBay, £7.99 delivered, Subterranea. Had a little chip in the box, but, you know, can't really complain. Obviously, as you'd expect, with a new game, you get all the nice bits and bobs. Uh, it's quite a good game actually, I quite enjoyed it. I found it a lot easier to play than I thought it was. It really is like uh, Solar Jetman and the NES, but a uh, more updated version. Really enjoyable so far. Right, next is a game that I've done a gameplay video of already, Super Fantasy Zone. Uh, I've got this one on eBay again, I think £7.99. Um, nice condition, the instruction manual and the thing. The only thing is it's got the nice P mark for pre owns uh, it says EV on the back, so Electronic Boutique. Can't understand why they ever did that, but there you go. And next up, Japanese game. Really wanted this game. Uh, I really love the developer Technosoft, so it's uh, Elemental Master. Uh, this one is in great condition. Really is nice condition. Uh, totally complete with the instruction manual and the cartridge and everything else. That's very nice. And last up for the games, uh, the game I just bought the cartridge only because I didn't really want to pay the like, £20 asking price for the full box game, so I weren't sure if I liked it or not, but that's uh, Raid and Trad. And uh, yeah, that's okay. I'm glad I didn't buy the box copy to be honest, I think £20 is a bit much for what it has to offer. And there you go. Now, the thing I bought next, I've been after one of these for ages. I had one before, but it wasn't the Micro Switch one, it was the European version, that's the 6 button arcade stick. This was actually brand new, £35, got this online, uh, and it's fantastic, really nice, it's got a really nice uh, clicking action, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really nice compared to the European and American versions, which has got them rubber things that makes it feel like it's got a huge pad. Um, it's really nice, it's real tight, um, great for shooting games, uh, better I think for shooting games than the uh, nice tournament edition stick I've got here, but obviously not so good for Street Fighter. And last up, the last thing I've got was a, a bought a copy off eBay of Me Machine Sega, won it for 99p, it was £2.75 postage. It's uh, January, number 15, 1994. Got the free 1994 wall calendar. Um, it's got Toe Jam and L2 and the Lost Vikings for the Sega Mega Drive, as well as an advert in here of a company that is offering uh, Twinkle Towers for £25, which uh, would have been great back in the day, but I didn't uh, buy it, obviously. But yeah, I totally recommend if you're into these things, just getting one of these magazines. I mean, it's a real blast from the passing, all the old adverts and everything else. It's uh, fantastic. But well, that's it really, anyway, that's what I've been up to, and that's what I've bought. Like I said, I've got some more games on the way, and uh, I'll do a gameplay, uh, some gameplay videos, and uh, update the collection as and when that happens. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I shall see you soon.